Hey everybody, what's up? I am back with another tool for getting the most out of your fitted caps. And this is one that I feel like has been hiding in plain sight for a long time. So I've often looked for ways to maintain the shape of the cap when you are editing it. So I've used lots of things in prior videos, um, but always it's trying to duplicate the form of the head. So one of the things that I discovered, maybe some of you have found this as well, but it's an incredible discovery, is the idea of a bump cap insert. So uh, mainly these are designed as a little plastic shell that can be inserted inside of a regular baseball cap, and it's meant to give you just a little bit of bump protection for your head. The great thing for us fitted cap fans is this is an incredibly inexpensive way to give shape to your fitted caps when it's not on your head. And you know, if you've seen any of my other videos where I talk about editing your caps, this is a tremendous tool to have. I would say alongside a hat jack, which I am a big fan of for stretching your caps, this is probably the number two tool to have around if you are serious about maintaining and editing your fitted caps. These bump cap inserts, I actually bought three of them when I set out to evaluate these. And the great thing is, I think all three of the ones that I bought are less than $10. Now I got all three of these at amazon.com. There may be others out there. I just happened to pick three so that I could try a few of these out. So really, I just wanna tell you how all of these did in terms of the functions that I asked them to perform and uh, really list out all the functions that you can use these for in maintaining your fitted cap collection. Now, the first function that you can use this for is as a simple shape to hold your cap open when you are initially breaking it in after you've gotten it home from the store or taken delivery out of the box. Your new cap, a lot of times it has folds on the side of the cap from the way it was stored with the back panels folded inside the front panels. And those creases are among the first things that I wanna get out of a cap when I wanna break it in, get it ready to wear. Now, some people just put it on their head and let those go away naturally from repeated wearing. I like to steam those out and the bump cap insert is a great way to do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So while I'm heating up the water, here's the cap. I've got the bump cap insert in place. Again, all I did was fold the sweatband over that. So it is really up to the edges here in the inside of the cap. And the normal relief area that is there for the snapback style caps on this bump cap, I've actually put that towards the front so that I get this nice curve in the back to support that back area there. Okay, now we got the steam rolling. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Put the visor really quick. This heats up so quickly you don't really need it for very long. I'm just gonna Sight that in, keep it out of the steam for right now to keep it cool. Now that I've got a decent curve in that, I'm just going to work my way around, just cover the crown a little bit in steam. Steam that side. And all I'm really doing is pressing the fabric against this bump cap insert to give it more of that shape, get rid of some of the wrinkles the way the cap was shipped. So that's all we're doing here. It is getting smoother. There's some fabric that's bunched up a little bit because of where the buckram was. You know, that I'm just gonna try and use the shape to work it around a little bit. And maybe around the corners of that. I'm just pressing these corners against the bump cap insert. So this is another way that I've shown on how to shape the corners of the crown if they're a little bit too square for your liking. Right now, I'm just using kind of that thumb to forefinger, index finger area of my hand to hold that down against the bump cap shape. Okay, so there's what we got. Again, I, I steamed these corners a little bit, held them down against the bump cap shape, smoothed out some of these wrinkles. You can see some of those are still there. It's because that material has got to go somewhere um, when I shape this. Um, and then also curve the visor as usual. Now, another function that I find 
especially useful with this is that you can use the bump cap insert along with a hat jack. This is an incredible thing to do when you're about to stretch a cap because it just maintains and prevents any damage to those back panels from being stretched so severely because you've actually got a shape holding those back panels smooth, much like your head would if it were on your head. When you stretch with a hat jack by itself, a lot of times you get what I call read through of the sweatband area. Those back four panels of the cap, especially the last two of the cap, can really show where that sweatband stops because it's so stiff and when you're stretching, that is the area where the hat jack is engaged. And what happens is you stretch a lot of the fabric immediately over the sweatband and that results in sagging fabric or kind of curled fabric just over the sweatband. And that's one annoying thing that I've found after stretching multiple caps. Now what happens when you have a bump cap insert in the cap when you are stretching with a hat jack, it completely prevents that from happening because the shape of the bump cap insert is holding those panels open and smooth because it's tucked inside the sweatband. And so the hat jack is actually expanding the bump cap insert at the same time. So let's go ahead and take a look at that technique as well. Okay, so here is a very typical cap that I've been shaping. You can see here where I've stretched this before, it's really starting to sag and you're getting a lot of read through on the sweatband right here. You can just see how it kind of falls in. Now one of the things that has happened is it just gets kind of stuck in that shape. You can see how it kind of carries through. When I put this on my head, it kind of goes away a little bit, but it still kind of bothers me. I just grabbed the one that's made by Bullard. Um, that I picked up. This is probably the most versatile of the inserts, the three that I purchased. Um, but this one, I just slip it in. I actually put the snapback cut out near the front so that I can get the full surface, surface back here where I need it to keep that shape pressed out. And so all you gotta do is just flip up the sweatband and then kind of pull the edges of the sweatband around the outside of that. The shell is now trapped underneath the sweatband and then I'm going to actually make sure that the back edge goes all the way to this bottom edge right here. So I'm just kind of using these two holes that are cut in there for relief and I can feel the edge solidly contacting there. Okay, so now with this in place, I'm just going to put in my hat jack as normal. This is a hat jack that I've modified a little bit um, to get a little bit narrower profile because of my head shape. So you might notice that these blocks are a little bit thinner. I've got a video where I showed how I did that. But basically I'm just lining this up and making sure that that plastic stays right here. And then I'm going to expand this um, to fit. Okay, now you can see we've got some decent steam rolling out of the teapot. So I'm, I've got this in a position where I think it's going to be fine. The hat jack and the bump cap insert are in. And you can see right there, right now, that this is basically keeping a really nice form on the back surface there. And so we can just hit that with a little bit of steam. No need to overdo it. And uh, really, this is just going to relieve some of those wrinkles if I get this a little bit damp and heat it up a little bit. Just like if you're ironing or steaming a shirt, you know, it's removing the wrinkles. And so that should set us up pretty well for getting rid of a lot of the defects in the back surface of this cap. I have done this on many other caps in my collection so far, and uh, I just saved this one to show you how I was doing it. But really, I'm just getting that fit and kind of steaming it the way I normally would if I were stretching the cap. In fact, I'll give it a couple of cranks here. That's pretty much all there is to it. So I'm just steaming this as normal as I normally work with a hat jack, get the sweatband area a little hotter and some moisture, and then give that a couple of cranks to stretch it out. But now I've, I've, I'm doing that without really harming the back of the cap. Something you do have to watch for as you crank this out, if you've got the hat jack and the bump cap insert, um, you do have to watch for a little bit of strangeness here happening at the corners of the crown. Now, part of the reason is I've got the snapback opening up here at the front of the cap. Normally that's meant to be on this insert at the back, but I'm using this solid surface to hold open the back. 
So that opening is allowing the opportunity to, for the fabric and the buckram backed crown up here panels to deform a little bit. So that's just something you want to watch for because you do not want to steam this front area when it's distorted like that because that could uh, put a set into it, a little bit more permanent set into it. So here is the cap after I finish that. You can see a lot of that sagging and wrinkles have been removed um, just by inserting that and steaming it a little bit. So hat jack and the bump cap insert are completely gone now, um, but you can see how it uh, really freshened the look of the back here. So pretty happy with that. Uh, as mentioned, I've done it to a number of caps in my collection already and uh, this bump cap insert has been fantastic for kind of restoring the look and the fresh smooth exterior on a lot of my caps already. Yet another function I've shown before is how to shape the corners and kind of soften the look of the crown on your caps and the bump cap insert can actually be used for this as well. Now there are cutouts uh, on some of these that allow for a snapback um, if you were to wear this inside a cap. So if you flip it around and use the full surface under the front two panels, you can use that as a reactive surface for kind of shaping the crown with your steam from the teapot. This would be the opposite of the way that I did it on the A's cap earlier, but I'm just going to put this with the solid surface up near the front and the cutout in the back. Now you can see that uh, there's actually been some thought put in, in into lining up the vent holes on this cap. You can see the embroidered vent holes uh, from the new era cap line up pretty well with this bump cap. So what's clear to me is even since I put the insert in that way into the cap, um, it has gotten a little bit, maybe a little bit taller here. And also it's given a little bit more roundness to the crown already. So if I steam this and heat up the fibers in the buckram, et cetera, it should actually freeze that softness in a little bit more um, by forming it. And so I'm just gonna hit these top two panels right about here and sort of press from the inside on this uh, bump cap insert while I hold my hands over these two crown panels. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, that's probably good. So again, all I'm doing is really using my palm, and fingers, and thumb to kind of hold it against the form. You can see here, I'm just kind of making a small fist to uh, press against that so that I got a good reactive surface here. So I'm just really gonna let that cool off a little bit and uh, hopefully those buckram fibers will cool down and maintain some of the shape that I'm giving them while they're warm. So you can see here, I've softened that a little bit. Maybe I got just a little bit of wrinkles around the seam there, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and I think I could go a little bit further over here where it's not quite molded to that surface, but I think in general, this is a pretty good technique. Um, it compares favorably to some others that I've shown in other videos using a size one soccer ball as a form. So I think this is just another great tool, this bump cap insert, um, in terms of adding to your collection of tools if you're serious about shaping and wearing lots of fitted caps. Now I mentioned earlier that I did purchase three from Amazon. And to break down all three of them, I would say that the first one, the plainest one, is by Bullard, that is the brand, and it's just a simple shell with some cutout holes for the vent holes in the cap. It's got a big opening in the back if you're using it with snapbacks, and that's why that cutout is there. But this one I found to be the most versatile for the things that I was doing and the one I used the most when I was shaping caps. There was one that was a little bit cheaper feeling and it kind of had these uh, uh, cross rib supports on the top. Now this was by a company called Sunnyside Brands and I would not recommend this one. It seemed to be the easiest one to distort when I used it with a uh, hat jack and it really didn't hold the upper shape all that well except for the very top where it has those kind of cross uh, rib reinforcements. The last one that I tried was by a brand called Universal Safety. 
this one was clearly the best design if you were intending to use it as a bump cap insert. It came with little foam pads that insert and you could change those out for different sizes and things like that. So you could tell it was clearly designed with safety in mind. Um, but I found that it was a little bit more difficult to insert and remove this one. There were some sections on the bottom that you could supposedly cut off for a better fit. Um, but I chose not to do that because I was using the Bullard shell um, insert more often for anything because that was the most versatile. All right, so that was about all I had to cover with these bump cap inserts. Hopefully you see the value in that as much as I did um, when I grabbed these. And there's just so many things you can do with them. They're all less than $10.00. And I would say right up next to the hat jack, this is an essential tool for your toolbox if you are serious about fitted caps. So I highly recommend picking this up and it will uh, raise your game in terms of shaping, stretching, overall editing of your fitted caps. So anyways, uh, I've got links down below to some of my best videos in case you are interested in more ways to shape and maintain your caps. So check those out. But as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.